Hi, it's the Love Guru Blair. I'm a spiritual teacher, an intuitive heart healer, and I have my master's in marriage and family therapy. And today I want to talk to you about how Scandal, season two, episode one, is in promotion of violence. Now, whether you watch the show or not, stay tuned with this video because there's an important message that I'm sharing that affects all of us. Now, just to give you some background, um, the most recent episode, like I said, season two, episode one, had the main character, Huck, being beaten through most of the show. And it was very disturbing to watch. It was hard to watch. And it was really kind of upsetting to me to be watching the show because Scandal is one of my favorite shows of the now. And I think it's too beautifully written to be in the promotion of violence. And the reason why I say this is because each one of us has our special God-given gifts. And you could say the universe gives us gifts or spirit gives us gifts. And whatever feels more comfortable to you, I'm going to say God throughout this, this video. So each of the writers and the producers and executives of Scandal, again using them as an example, have the gift of writing and of storytelling. Now, this is a beautiful gift to have. But with each one of us, when we are given a gift from God, we have to make the choice if we're going to be using it for the betterment of society or the detriment. And this is a question that I'm going to ask you. Are you using, first off, do you know what your God-given gifts are? And then number two, are you using them to inspire, to educate, and to empower people? Or are you doing it? to be for other reasons. Are you bringing down society or are you lifting them up? And this is what we're gonna talk about here. So um, I know that you can say first off like, Blair, you know, this is a TV show and it's for entertainment purposes and it's not real. But I can assure you that your mind and your body and your spirit does not know the difference. Because when we're watching something, it's going into our minds and it's going into our bodies and we're feeling it and we're living that experience. And again, whether it's real or not, we're seeing the images in our head and we're interpreting it as real. So this is why a lot of people like going to movies and they like seeing scary movies because it takes you through that adrenaline high and that excitement and they get freaked out and that feels so wonderful, I guess. I don't see scary movies either. <laughs> but really what's going on is when you're watching something that's scary or something that's violent, again, you're thinking that it's real. And what happens in our society is because we are bombarded by acts of violence like all the time, we see it on TV all the time, we see it in film all the time, we see it on the news all the time, we're desensitized to it. And whenever you see anything over and over again, you start thinking that it's normal and you start disregarding it. So you say, okay, no big deal, these things are not a big deal, but you know what? Violence is a big deal. It's a really big deal. Violence in all forms. So. The whole idea is that these things, today I really want you to be aware, become more aware of how these things are affecting your life. And I want to encourage you to start taking a stand because it's one thing for us to not watch these types of shows. And that's what I did for a while. I would just turn off the TV or flip the channel or not go to those movies. But I want to encourage you to start taking a stand that these things in our society are no longer acceptable, that we no longer want this pollution in our society because really what it is is it's polluting our minds. It's polluting the way that people are thinking. And again, here's the chain. We see something on TV or we see something in movie, again, just for entertainment purposes, we see an act of violence and then we begin to be desensitized to it and then we become disheartened to it and then we start kind of accepting it. It's a trickle down effect and that's, that's the whole deal of what's going on. So today, like, let's just start opening back up to our human side because as human beings, we are sensitive. 
We are sensitive beings. All of us are very sensitive. And if you don't think that you're a sensitive person, it's again because you become desensitized to it. It's because you have shut it down. Because you have gotten the message that these things are, that being sensitive is not cool. That maybe you're too sensitive or you shouldn't be bothered by this or by that and just shut it down because it's not a good quality to have. But you know what's happening like in our society these days is like these outrageous acts of violence, like more and more of them are happening and they're becoming more extreme. So we had the Batman massacre, we had the Newtown shooting. Now, why do you think that these things are happening? Okay, maybe a million different reasons, but from a spiritual perspective, and again, there's a bunch of different spiritual perspectives, but the spiritual perspective that I'm sharing with you today is that these things are happening to be waking more and more of us up that there is a problem, that there is a violence problem, and that it's no, not okay for us to be having violence on TV, that that's going to be okay, or violence in a movie, in a film, but it's not okay in real life. It's not okay anywhere. So how do we fix this? Number one, I want to encourage you, yes you, sitting, watching this video, to start speaking out, okay? Yes, turn off the TV, and yes, turn off that film, or don't go to it. Don't support it, because you know what? Money talks. And if the industry is not being supported by these things, then it's not going to continue. But the second thing is to speak out. To start speaking out and saying, this is not okay. This is not okay to be putting this garbage into the minds of my fellow man, of these people in our society. Because what Joe Blow is watching, you could be for damn sure that it's affecting your mind as well. Because then he or she is going to go and think that this is okay or that's okay or whatever. And then they're going to start acting accordingly. And one of us affects the other. We are not separate from one another. The other thing is, is that I really want to strongly encourage you and then also people in the TV and film industry. Because you know what? When you're in TV and film, you have great power. You have great talent and you have great power, which is awesome. But to be using these gifts in a way that inspires others, that uplifts them, and that empowers them. Because when you're putting garbage on TV, and I'm going to keep it real because that's what it is. When you're showing violence on TV in order to be getting ratings, um, in order to be drawing like a, you know, be be saving your job, you know, maybe you're afraid of your job and you want to be doing something sensational um, and you want to be drawing more people to watch your show, you want people to be talking about it, you want to be scandalous, well, okay, realize what you're doing. Realize on how you're being motivated by fear and how you are polluting people's minds. You're polluting people's minds. If you're sitting people down in front of a TV or in front of a film and you're showing violent act after violent act, you're polluting someone's mind. They're going to be going, they're going to be thinking about these things and you're desensitizing them to what's happening. You're not making them feel good. Instead, you're bringing them more anxiety and more fear into their life. Because again, if you're watching these things or if you're feeding people these things, this is all a cycle of violence and uh, of fear and anxiety. So again, with each one of us, we have these special gifts. And it's really important to be using your gifts to be empowering others, to be bringing them more love and more faith and more peace and more security. We don't need more anxiety and fear running around in this world. So it starts with you. Well, here's the thing. We can go blame TV and film. Yes, we can go do that. Oh, it's not me. It's you. It's you. Or we can do both. <laughs> you can look at yourself and say, number one, how am I supporting this violent industry? And then stop it. You can, number two, um, start speaking out. 
that these things are not acceptable and you don't want to be seeing them on TV and you don't want to be seeing them in the movies and you spread the word about this. And that's the other thing. I'm going to encourage you to spread this video that I made to help awake other people. Make them aware of what's going on and what they're feeding their brains and how, they're gonna, how that affects their life and how that's contaminating their life. And then the other point, which is the third or the fourth, I think it's the fourth number here, is that you use your gifts always, always, always to inspire and empower people. Always. You can make money by inspiring and empower people. You can make money and save your job or keep your job and get your job by doing things that better society. You don't need to resort to be, again, doing violent stuff or whatever you might be doing or be tempted to do with your gift in order to move forward your own personal agenda. This is about being responsible for your gift and how you're sharing it in the world. So that is my message for today. That is my message for today. And that is my prayer and my hope for you, that you always use your gifts, whatever that gift is, that you always use it in the light, you always use it in love, and you use it for the better and the, the betterment of society and for the highest good of all. To always uplift people, uplift people and support them and to share it in a way that gives other people life and that empowers them. So thank you for watching this video. Please share it along to other people who would be open to this message and even to other people who are not open to this message. That is the point. That is the point to be bringing awareness to everybody. And for us to be changing the world one step at a time. One step at a time. So you change your life and then they change their life and so on and so on. But it is time that this violence leaves our society. And we see our own personal impact on how we're either contributing to it or not contributing to it. So thank you for watching. Once again, I'm the Love Guru Blair. I'm happy to help you through your journey, whatever path you plan on taking. If, you know, my specialty is to be clearing away this fear and this anxiety that you're feeling. And if you would like personal help with that, I am happy to help you. And you can visit me at loveguru.net. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best in love. Bye-bye.